back to my channel. My name's Andrea and today I am so excited because I'm going to be sharing some amazing Mario Brother DIYs with all of you. So my son Grayson is turning four this year and he loves Mario Brothers. It's so nostalgic for me because that is all we played as kids is Super Mario Brothers and Yoshi. And so this year we're doing something a little different. I'm not going completely crazy decorating because we are having Grayson's birthday party at a little jumping park and you guys know I love decorating but with the limited options because I pretty much just have a table to decorate I have created these amazing little characters to put on the table and I also made these amazing little piranha plants you see back here I am so excited to not only share the DIYs with you but to share Grayson's birthday I love you baby boy happy birthday I can't believe you're four let's get to the party stuff For the first DIY, I'm going to be attempting to make Mario Brothers Piranha Plants. I'm going to be making two of them and I just want to show you all the supplies you will need. I bought paint in red, green, and white and then I found these paper mache um, flower pots at Hobby Lobby. They were $2 each and I'm just going to be painting these green. I also bought these foam balls from Hobby Lobby. They were a bit more pricey. They were $5 each. I bought two of them. And then I've had this for a while, guys. I have not used it yet, but it's a clean cut foam cutter. So it's supposed to be able to easily slice through foam because I do a lot of DIYs and have been trying to just use a knife, which creates a disaster and mess everywhere. So I'm hoping this little tool works. I will definitely let you guys know and then I also found these little uh, foam discs these actually just came from the Dollar Tree so they were a dollar and I will be using these um, to hold my dowels in place inside the flower pot I also have some dowels I bought at Hobby Lobby as well as some Model Magic. I've used Model Magic in a ton of projects. I just love it. I have some paint brushes and I also have a hot glue gun ready to go. So let's get started and make one of these piranha plants. finish letting my little green paper mache flower pots dry. I have these foam discs that I'm going to, after I get done painting these discs green, I'm going to hot glue them on the top here. I was going to work on cutting the foam so it fits inside here, but honestly guys, I don't want to deal with trying to cut the foam and make sure everything, like all the edges won't be smooth. I know this if I cut it. So I decided I'm actually just going to leave it as is and paint the whole thing green. I am just taking my dowel and kind of finding the center here and I'm just going to push it through the foam. There we go. Okay, now I can work on painting these and I will add the piranha heads next. is the piranha plants head and so I have this foam ball that's about 5.6 inches from Hobby Lobby it was five dollars I will find a link on Amazon for anything I find down below so please check that out but my foam ball has this natural line occurring through it and I'm just going to use that line as a reference point I want the piranha's mouth to be um, half open so I'm just going to try to draw, maybe it's not even half open, but I'm going to try to draw a little mouth, um, a little guy line where I'm going to cut.
can see I have my little piranha mouth cut out. This part here is not smooth. I'm not going to worry too much about it though because I'm actually going to be covering the majority of the mouth so I would not waste um, the time to get this exactly perfectly smooth. This will work just fine and let's get started painting the piranha head red now. start working on the heads of the piranha plants. I'm going to use model magic to roll out some white lips for the plant and then we will make the teeth and put the spots on. my two pieces of magic model clay rolled out I'm going to just place them over the ends right here and see how everything looks before I secure everything okay, so to hold the lips on what I am doing is just cutting some toothpicks and I'm going to put them along the edge here where the lips are supposed to go so, I'm just breaking a toothpick. You guys want to make sure that your paint is dry for this portion because I've already ruined um, some of my model magic clay because the, um, the paint wasn't dry and it stained it red. And push these down pretty far in, that way we don't have toothpicks sticking out either. So now that our toothpicks are in, we are just gently going to press our clay into the toothpicks. And hopefully this will ensure that our model magic sticks onto here. You do want to push it down as much as possible to the edge here. Okay, so we have our next piece of model magic clay and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to make sure to press it down so that it sticks onto the toothpicks. So next I am working on making the model magic into these little triangles for the piranha head's teeth. And all I'm doing is rolling out some model magic and I have this little star cookie cutter that I'm using to make the teeth. You don't have to use a cookie cutter. You can form the triangles by hand. That's just how I'm doing it. So here is my star and I'm just going to be cutting along the edge here to make a triangle like these. I'm putting four teeth at the bottom and three on top. You do want to make sure that you make this the teeth pretty thick because we're also going to be putting a toothpick through here to hold onto the lips as well. I'm just going to place the teeth where I think they would look good before I actually adhere them down with a toothpick. So check out our little piranha plant mouth so far. I think it's coming out so good considering I'm kind of making this up as I go. I just wanted it to make it look very cartoon like so I think the model magic really helps with that. I'm going to start adding the little toothpicks now into um, where I want the teeth to stick as you can see and I'm just going to grab one of the teeth and connect it to the toothpick. 
That's why I told you guys you definitely want to make sure that your clay's um, more on the thick side so that when you do this part, the toothpick isn't showing or sticking out anywhere. Hey guys, and there is my little piranha plant mouth with the clay. I have to kind of fix some of the borders here. But the next thing we're gonna do is add the spots and then we will add the piranha plants in their planter. You do want to add a rock or something heavy inside there. That way this does not topple over. I have my um, dowel inside my green foam, which I'm gonna hot glue after I add the head on here to make sure nothing's gonna topple over. I just over. finished gluing this foam on to my planter here. Now I'm going to add some hot glue around the rim of this dowel and I'm going to secure it in the piranha plant head so it does not fall off. And look at that, it stands up perfectly. Just painting the white spots on, using this little tape form to paint the circles on, and also a cookie cutter that I have to make various size circles. We are going to add the leaves on this piranha plant. I made these with Model Magic and a cookie cutter and just painted them green. And now I'm going to hot glue them to the stems and then we will be all finished. I think they came out super amazing considering I completely winged this project. I wasn't really sure how, I, how it was going to turn out, but I highly recommend using the Model Magic for the lips because I've seen some piranha plants just made with paint or tape and I think when you add the Model Magic clay, it really creates that cartoon 3D effect, so I highly recommend it. everything I bought to put together these little party favors for Grayson's birthday. I just love the little Yoshis. Look how cute they are and they're even little keychains. We have some Pez dispensers, some squishy stars, there's more little Yoshis. These little figurines here were actually cake toppers and they were much cheaper than going to Target and buying them individually so I just bought them off Amazon. I will link everything I find down below. These gold coins and keychains and mustaches were purchased from Party City along with these amazing cups. I love these cups. They have like a gold foil detail that makes them super shiny. Let's go ahead and get started filling these little party favor boxes now. I bought these little question mark boxes from Amazon and I will definitely be linking everything I find down below. Hey guys, my big helper Aislinn just showed up. Are you ready? Oh yes, I am ready. in these little boxes. to be making the little bombs from Mario Brothers. As you can see here, I already started painting my foam balls just with some black paint. I am also gonna be using the tops of these mason jars to glue on the top along with some rope. And I have this um, 
glitter foam sheet that I'm gonna use to make little feet for the bombs. So our black foam ball is all dry now. I am just using the top of a mason jar and I'm going to make the very top of the bomb. I am just going to turn this inside out and glue it on here. Next, I found a shape to trace um, kind of oval eyes. This is just something, a plastic chain I use from Halloween, but you can freehand draw the eyes. I just am not the best at doing that. So I looked for a shape that would closely match the eyes and I'm just doing four of these and I will cut them out. So I have my little cardstock cutouts and we are going to go ahead and hot glue these for the eyes now. So let's do that. Next, I'm going to take some rope I found in my garage and I'm going to add it to the top of this bomb. For this next portion, I am using my glitter foam paper and I just have it flipped to the back and I found something that kind of would mimic the shape of their um, feet. So I'm just going to use this spatula to trace around. I am making them a bit bigger so I have room to glue them down. I am just hot gluing now the little feet on. I think my little bomb came out so cute. There's his little feet attached. This was super easy to make. And the little final piece I'm going to add, I wanted to have on the Mario game, they have kind of like a little twist knob on the back to activate the bomb. And I was looking for something I might be able to replicate when I came across Grayson's little apple sauces. And he will definitely be eating these, but I am going to take off the lid and adhere it to the back of the bomb. There we go, voila, we have a little twist knob on the back of our little bomb. Yay! <laughs> I love you! How old are you turning? Four. Four? What a big boy! I love you! And you won't even carry me. I know, you're not a baby anymore. Four years has gone by so fast. Are you ready to go to jumping park?
celebrating Grayson's fourth birthday with all of us. We had a blast and I also had so much fun putting together these DIY ideas and party favors with all of you. And to my baby boy Grayson, mommy loves you so much. I can't believe you're four. I hope you look back on this video and love all the Mario Brothers decorations I put together for you. And for everyone else, thank you so much for watching and we will catch you on our next video. Bye.